Hey, what's up everybody? Clifton here, Clifton WP. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom header that you built using the advanced header slash navigation block from Cadence Blocks to your full site editing theme or your block theme. Now, this is for you if you started a website building it in a block theme or a full site editing theme and not the Cadence theme, but you're also using Cadence Blocks to build out your intersections and your pages and you want to take advantage of the advanced header block to be able to create custom headers for your website. Well, you can absolutely do that. And it doesn't matter whether you're using the free version of Cadence Blocks or the pro version, the advanced header slash navigation block is available in both versions of the plugin. So if you are ready to learn how to add custom headers to your full site editing theme or your block theme, using the advanced header block from Cadence Blocks. Then let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so here we are with a fresh install of WordPress. And what you're looking at here is the default WordPress 2024 theme that comes when you install WordPress for the first time. Now this theme is what's called a block theme. And before we proceed, I think it'd be important to go ahead and share with you the distinction, the difference between a block theme like this default WordPress 2024 theme and the cadence theme or other themes like it, which we would consider a classic theme. Although personally, I consider the cadence theme a little bit more than just a classic theme. It's actually a powerful bridge between the classic themes and the full site editing themes that we have of today. But that's just my personal opinion. I think cadence theme is a little bit more powerful than what we would typically refer to as a classic theme. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll just call it a classic theme, all right? And this is a block theme. And what I wanna do is I wanna show you the difference between the two, because if you're using a block theme and you're doing that in combination with cadence blocks, certain actions that you're going to be taking, like adding a custom header that you've built with the advanced header navigation block from cadence blocks are going to be different than when you're using the cadence theme. And I want to make sure that you just understand both of them for the benefit of the people who may be using a block theme and also using cadence blocks to build out their inner pages and the sections, okay? So let's just go ahead and uh, dive right into it. Okay, so let's start with a clear definition of what a block theme is and how it differs from a classic theme. So what you're looking at here is the default 2024 WordPress theme, and this is a block theme. And essentially what a block theme is, is basically a WordPress theme where you can make changes to the structural elements of your site completely inside of the block editor. That means you have access to make changes to the header, the content areas, and also the footer of the site without leaving the block editor. If you look at this home page, right? So this is considered the home page for the WordPress theme. Notice how in the admin toolbar, there is no edit page link. There is only an edit site link. Okay. So that's because this home page, and you'll find this in many other block themes as well, is that this home page is actually a template. And because this is a template, you're not going to have an edit page link here. You're going to have an edit site link, which will allow you to edit this template. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. If I click on edit site, it's going to basically drop me into the editing component for this template. Right now we are inside the block editor and notice how in the block editor, we have access to 100% of the elements that make up that page. We have access to the header. We have the content areas and we have access to the footer and we can make changes to any one of these blocks. We can add new blocks, we can remove blocks, we can do anything we want inside of this template and it will stick, okay? So this is what's known as full site editing. I can edit the full site in here. Okay, another indication that you know you're inside of a template is if you look over here to the right, you will see the template tab right over here, okay? And it'll tell you where you are, how many revisions and so on. Right? If we look here in list view, you can see the blocks that make up this template. And you can see access to the header, the content, and the footer, all of them completely editable. Okay, This is the block theme. All right. Now, this is very different from editing 
a page. So let's go back out and take a look at editing a page. If we go back to the front end here, we have a link to an internal page. If I click on this link, it'll take me to the page. And notice how in the admin toolbar, we have an edit page link, okay? We also have an edit site link. So the edit page link allows you to edit the contents of the page, but you won't be able to edit the header or the footer because these components are part of the template that make up this page, that is presenting this page and all the pages for this site. Okay, so there's one general template for pages that look like this, and you have the ability to make changes to that template as well as make changes to the content. So if I wanna make changes to just the content, I would click on edit page. That'll take me to the content. Notice how in the block editor here, you don't see the header and you don't see the footer. You only see the content. So I can add blocks, remove blocks, and also customize these blocks, change content any way that I want, and it will only affect the content, okay? Now, if we go back to the front end of this, I also have the option to click on edit site. And when I click on this, what will happen is it will take me to the actual template that makes up this presentation. So if I click on edit site, now I'm in the template. Notice how the actual title has disappeared and it just now has a general title, an image section, and a content block. I also have now access to the header for this template and I have access to the footer for this template. And if I open this up in list view, okay, I can see the header, content area, and the footer. I can also see which template I'm editing, which is gonna be pages over here, okay? So that's the difference uh, between having access to the content area and having access to the template. This is what the block themes allow you to be able to do, okay? Now, if we uh, go back here to the dashboard, We've been clicking this through the admin toolbar, but let's go back to the dashboard so we can see a better view of how to better access the structural components of a block theme. If you go back to the dashboard, go to appearance, you would need to go to editor. Now notice something here. In a block theme, you do not have the customizer. Customizers are in the classic theme, which we'll talk about here in a moment. So if I go to appearance, I can go to editor, and now I am in the editor for this theme, okay? Now I have access to the components of this theme, which is gonna be the navigation, where I can come here and take a look at my navigation, okay? I have access to the styles, which will help me determine the look and feel of this theme, and I can go ahead and make changes to this if I want, I'm selecting different styles, okay? Or palettes. I also have access to the pages for the site. And here I can add a new page or I can edit an existing page. And then we have access to templates, okay? So the templates are the structural presentation of every aspect of your website, okay? The way your posts are going to look, the way your pages are going to look, the way your home page is going to look, the way your archive is going to look. Every block theme will come with a set of these and they're different depending on which block theme that you're using, okay? So for instance, this is the template for the archives template where you can display all the posts or single author categories, tags, and taxonomies, okay? Or this is the page for displaying a, this is the page template, excuse me, for displaying a page without a title, okay? This is the page template for your standard pages, for for page. This is a page template for showing a page with a wide image. This is a page template for your single post and a page template for your single post with sidebar, okay? So all these templates already exist in here and within these templates, this is where you can change the look and feel for what content is going to look like on the front end. All of them are completely accessible and all of them have the capability to do full site editing. So if I click on this one here, I have the ability to edit the header, the content section, the sidebar area, and the footer, okay? All right, let's go ahead and exit out and go back here. So we just looked at templates. The next component, the final component here is gonna be your patterns. Now when you click on patterns, all patterns are, 
are essentially a collection of blocks that create a section, an area, or an entire page for your website. Okay, these are pre-created presets. All right, so you may have hero sections, project description, calls to action, pricing tables, or patterns that you've created yourself. All of them will be stored uh, in here. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see the categories for all of these patterns. So there's about, banners, calls to action, featured, foot footers, galleries, pages, portfolios, and more, okay? Now, right above this, you have what are called template parts. So template parts are going to be the main structural aspects of a page. So that would be your header, your footer, and the general area, okay? So the general has the sidebar and the post meta, okay? You can actually add new template parts and new patterns uh, to your site in the block theme. So whenever you select any of these, so for instance, I can click on header here where I'm seeing the current default header and I can click here on add new pattern and it'll ask me, do I want to add a new pattern, a new template part, or import a pattern from JSON, okay? So I can add a new template part, right, which is like a new header. I can add that right over here if I wanted to, all right? Same thing with the footer and same thing with the general areas. You can also add new patterns. So if I want to add a, say, a new featured area that I like, I can go ahead and click on add new, select that I want to add a new pattern, and then create that pattern in here, and it will save it for me in this area, okay? All right, so now we understand all the different parts and how to add structural elements to our WordPress theme or how to access existing templates. Let's go ahead and take a look at a classic theme and how these differ. To install a classic theme, let's go ahead and go back to the WordPress dashboard. We'll go to Appearance, go to Themes, click on Add New Theme. And for our classic theme, we're going to install the Cadence theme. I'll go ahead and click on Install and activate. Okay, so now we have the Cadence theme installed. Now notice the moment you have this installed, if you look over here to the left, you now have all these additional options to be able to customize this theme. Now, typically a classic theme is going to be customizable through some theme settings, which could be an extra menu item here in the side menu, or you could do it through the customizer, okay? If we go to the front end of the website, you can now see that we have the Cadence theme installed and the default WordPress 2024 theme block theme is now gone, okay? But if you look here in the admin toolbar, you'll notice that we now have the customizer instead of having the edit site link like we had with the block theme. Okay, if I go to a sample page, I have the edit page option to edit the content of this page, and I also have the customizer uh, as well, which will still take me to the theme settings for the Cadence theme, okay? And this home page that we're looking at, okay, this is just a archive page that will, by default, show all of your blog posts if you start creating blog posts here, okay? So this is actually utilizing a template to be able to do that, but customizing this template happens through the customizer as well, okay? So in order for us to get to the theme settings for a classic theme, typically you would go to the customizer, and then here you would see all the settings for all the areas that you want to customize. So if I wanna customize the style of my theme here, I would go ahead and click on the colors and fonts, and here I can affect the colors, buttons, and typography. I can make customizations to all of this here, okay? If I wanna make changes to my header, then I can click on the header tab here. That will open up the header builder, and then I can build out any type of header that I want using the available items that are here. Okay, I can customize that and see those changes reflected right here at the very top of the site. If I wanna do the same thing for my footer, I have the same option. I have items specific to the footer, and then I also have a footer builder here where I can organize my footer any way that I want. And if I wanna make changes to the content area, I can go to the post pages layout section here. I can make changes to my pages layout, both the structure of it and also make changes to the design. And then I can do the same thing for my single post layout for my blog post. And then I can do the same thing for archive layouts as well. Okay, so all the controls are contained here inside of the customizer. That's the difference between a classic theme and a block theme, okay? Now, for this tutorial, we wanna show how to be able to add a custom header to a block theme, okay? So now that we understand the difference, let's go ahead and go back to our block theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the dashboard here. 
I'm going to go to Appearance, go to Themes, and I'm going to activate my block theme, which is going to be the default 2024 theme from WordPress. Let's go ahead and click on Activate. All right, and now we're back to our block theme. Now, in order for us to add a custom header using Cadence Blocks, we need to install the Cadence Blocks plugin. So I'm going to go here, go to the dashboard, go to Plugins, click on Add New Plugin, and we're going to do a search for Cadence Blocks. Here is the Cadence Blocks plugin. Let's go ahead and click on Install Now and Activate. Okay, so now that the Cadence Blocks plugin is installed, if we come over here, we can now see the Cadence link in the admin menu. And from here, we can see that we now have access to being able to create our own custom headers and navigations and even forms, okay? So the objective here now is to be able to use the Cadence custom header feature here and use that to replace the header that's here in our block theme, okay? So we can actually do that directly inside of the actual block editor for editing the template, okay? Or you can, can actually create your header first by clicking on headers and clicking on add new cadence header and then going through the process of uh, creating your header first and then inserting it in there. To make this really easy, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit this. Okay, we're not gonna do it this way. We're gonna go directly to the editor here. So go to appearance, go to editor, and we're gonna go to patterns, okay? Now inside of the pattern area here, we're gonna select header. Because the cadence blocks uses Gutenberg blocks and the block theme allows you to create everything with Gutenberg, we don't actually need to go and create it separately. We can actually just create it directly inside of the block editor itself. So here's the first step. What we're going to do is we're going to create a backup of the existing header for our current block theme, okay? So this is the existing header. And this one, you cannot delete this header. This one is here by default, okay? What we wanna do is wanna go ahead and duplicate it, okay? And we'll call this one our header backup. Wanna make sure that this is selected to header and then click on duplicate. All right, so now we've created a duplicate of the existing default header, all right? If we go to, if we go back here and we look at our templates, you'll notice that every single template is using that default header, okay? Now, if I wanted to change the header individually here, I would need to go into each template and make that change. So the reason we're making a backup is because we wanna change the header in one place and have it change globally for all the templates, okay? So let's go ahead and go back, go back to our patterns, and then up here in our template parts, we're gonna click on header. Okay, so now we have our header backup, and then we have our default header that was already here when we came into this header section. Okay, now we're gonna make our change in the default header one, not the backup. So we're gonna make our change over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this header. And then from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the header itself. And I'm gonna hit delete. Then I'm gonna do a forward slash and start typing the words header. And because we have the Cadence Blocks plugin installed, you're gonna have access to the advanced header slash navigation block. Let's go ahead and select this one. Okay, and we're gonna click on create a new header. And let's call this one our custom header number one. We're gonna give it a description of the same name and then we're gonna say next. Here it's gonna give you an option to select the type of header that you want or create one from scratch. We're just gonna select this preset right over here. And then for the tablet slash mobile layout, we're gonna select another preset. And now we have our header in place, okay? So now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add my logo to this header. So down here, you can see the visual builder for the header. We have access to all the rows and the middle rows currently being occupied right now with the elements that you see here in the header, okay? So here we have the site identity already in place. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that in directly in the header itself. Here on the right-hand side, I'm gonna select add media. I'm gonna select my logo and add it in there, okay? So this toolbar is obscuring the header. So let's go ahead and fix that. Click on the vertical ellipsis all the way here to the right. And we're gonna click on top toolbar. It's gonna to move it up here to the toolbar, okay? So I can see the header in full. Okay, so this header actually looks pretty good. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add a background to it. So I'm gonna click on the cogwheel next to this middle row, move over here to the right, go to style, and I'm gonna change the background color to white. 
and then let's add a little bit of padding to it. So I'm going to unify the sides here. Just go to advanced. We're going to link the sides and we'll just go with an extra small. Okay. All right. I'm pretty happy with this and the way that this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. All right. So now I have saved my custom header. Okay. Now when I exit, it's going to take me back out to patterns. And then if I go to the header, I can see now here that I have changed that default header to my custom header. And I now have a backup of the way the header was before. So now if I go back, go to my templates, notice that all the templates now have our new custom header attached. If we look on the front end of the website, you'll see here that our new custom header is now part of the site. And now we can take advantage of having the advanced header slash navigation block from cadence and all the settings that comes with it and use it in combination with a the block theme. So if I go back here and we go back to our patterns, go to header, I can go back to my custom header that I built here and I can click on the header itself, move over here to the right. And let's say I want this to be a sticky header and I also want it to be a transparent header. Okay. Click on save and then just go back to the front end, refresh the screen. Now we can see now it's a transparent header. And if I start to scroll, the header now sticks. All right. And now if we take a look at the internal pages here, so go to dashboard, pages, all pages, and we look at the sample page, notice that the sample page also now has our new header attached. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back to our header template again, pattern. Okay. Over here, let's head back out back to our patterns, go to headers. So what if I want to revert everything back? What if I want everything to go back to the way that it was? Okay. I now have a backup that I made over here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the backup. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on command C on my keyboard to copy this block. Okay. Now that I've copied the block, I'm going to exit, go back to headers, go to the default header, select my custom header that I built. We're going to delete it and we're going to go ahead and paste our default header and click save. Now that I've done that, I can then go back, go to my headers. I can see that my headers are now back in play. And if I go back one, go to my templates. Now all the templates have the new default header. If I look at it on the front end and I refresh the screen, then our default header is now back. Okay. So that's why I like to make that backup. Now, what if I just want my custom header on one template? but I don't want it on all the other ones. Very easy to do. Okay. Let's go back to the templates, which is this over here. Okay. So if you ever want to get back here, just go to templates and here you are. Okay. And let's say I want to change the home page. Only the home page can have my custom header. All the other ones will have the default header. So now I can then click in this actual template itself, click on the header, which I have access to delete it, select the next block, click on the vertical ellipsis, click on add before to give me a new block line, do a forward slash, start typing the words header. And I can see my advanced header slash navigation block from cadence blocks here, select it. It's going to ask you if you want to create a new header or if you want to select the existing header that you have already created, which is our custom header number one. Let's go ahead and select that one. Okay. It automatically adds the header in for us. And even from here, I can go ahead and make changes to it if I want. So this is already in click on save and now we can head back out. All right. And here you will see now that in the template itself, the other templates have the default header and the home page has our custom header. You can tell by the buttons here. Okay. If we go to the front end of the website, refresh the screen, here's our, here's our custom header in place. Okay. And if we go and take a look at an actual page, all pages, view the page, it has the default header. So now you can see how easy it is for you to be able to add a custom header that you've built with the advanced header slash navigation block from cadence blocks to a block based theme. It's very, very easy to do. And the beauty of it is you can add it anywhere because cadence has set this up so that those headers, those custom headers that you build, are essentially post types. And that's why I can add them at any time, anywhere, right? So I can come here, go to cadence, go to headers, and I can always see my advanced custom header that I built here and I can add it at any time. Okay. Now, what if I decide to move over to a classic theme? Very easy. Just go to appearance themes, click on activate on the cadence theme, go to the front end of the website. Okay. 
So now I don't have a custom header added in here. So this is a completely new theme. If we go to the sample page, this is just the header that came with it. This is my logo because I uploaded my logo as a site logo. Okay. So now if I go to customize, I can go to header and right here at the bottom, you'll see an option to enable the blog header. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then we can select our custom header and here's our header in place. Go ahead and click on publish Exit the customizer. And now we have our header and we may not like the way that it looks here. Okay. Because it's doing, it's a transfer and header and a sticky header at the same time. So we can actually go back to the dashboard, go to cadence, go to headers, click on edit, and then I can select it from here. So let's go to the header settings and we will turn off the transparent header. We'll say yes, turn that off. We can also turn off the sticky header as well. Click on save, go back to the front end of the website, view it, and here's our header in place. Okay. So whether we're using a classic theme or using a block theme, we can always utilize a header. And then if I want to switch back, go to the dashboard, appearance, themes, switch back to my block theme, view the front end. My header is still there. All right. And with that, that will conclude this tutorial on how to be able to add a custom header that you've built using the advanced navigation block from cadence blocks into your block theme and the difference between doing it in a block theme and a cadence theme. Hey, if you like this tutorial, please go ahead and smash that like button and share this tutorial with your friends who may be looking for this information. And if you are new to the channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel and remember to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I release new tutorials like this one. Hey, I want to go ahead and say thank you to all of you who continue to support the channel by watching the channel, leaving comments and sharing these videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I really appreciate your support. If you have any questions about anything that we've done here today or any questions about WordPress or Cadence, please feel free to go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I do read the comments and maybe your question will be the basis for another video. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.